Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be looking at extreme volume, how I achieve extreme volume, and that impact which comes with this style, that sort of show-stopping look, and all about creating this look, of course. So first things first, when you're creating extreme volume, it actually all starts when your hair is wet. So for example, whatever shampoo and conditioner you are using, it's vitally important that you get it right in this very, very first step, even though your hair is wet. First things first, you want to be looking at a shampoo and a conditioner set which is looking at volume, which is boosting fine strands, particularly if you've got fine hair full of volume and you really want your shampoo conditioner to be working with you at lifting your hair away from your scalp. Really, really important that if you have a conditioner that it's not overly conditioning, that it makes the hair almost like it's so soft, so sleek that it's like glass. And when I say that, that I mean that it's pumped so much moisture into the hair that actually it sits quite flat and quite heavy, which again is going to work against you when you're trying to create that extreme volume look. Something which I've been using actually for a style which I always really like in terms of volume, something which I have chose recently, and I've used this on and off, is by the Fish Range. Now this doesn't have a separate conditioner, it's got just the amount of conditioning elements in it you need. It's called Big Fish. Now each of the product in this range have their own separate name. Now this is Volumizing 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner. It's daily use normal fine hair, volumized clean and conditioned for full bodied healthy looking hair. And it's for volume, it's got an incredible smell, really really nice, and in terms of volume it's great, it's a fantastic shampoo, and for conditioner, it's just got the right amount of conditioning agents in there as well. And that is my first step in how I created my look today. Now, how do I, how, how often do I wear my hair like this? Do I like it? Is it one of my favourites? Well, yes, absolutely it is. I am known for having big, volumised hair. It's something which people recognise me for having big, volumised hair in my family. I always loved that pompadour style, loved that sort of Elvis-inspired sort of look in hair um, from the 1950s era, that real nice swoop sort of pile of hair up where you've got both sides swept back, the back combed down nice and, nice and straight or a little bit sort of untidy, but my favourite version of this is very combed, very sleek. So I very often I wear a very undone, kind of informal version of this, my sort of take on a pompadour. But when it's combed, I just think it just brings such a complete different level of class, sophistication and really quite sort of out there. And it certainly does give an impact. And I have to admit, anywhere when I wear this style, people do look, but do you know what? I really don't care. It could be good. It could be bad remarks, what have you. But in terms of I like the style. I really, really like uh, the era where it comes from, that sort of whole Elvis inspired um, sort of era. Hairstyles, really, really great, but I'd love to have been a part of that, I have to admit as well, with all of those sort of products going on. But I love my hair like this. And for somebody who has fine hair, but has a lot of it, this style is actually not that difficult to achieve. And as I say, it all starts from the right shampoo and conditioner. So moving on, once you've done that and you've towel dried your hair and you've got your hair wet, the next best thing what you're going to want to be doing is taking a root lifting spray. This is the one which I've used today and it's a favourite of mine. I absolutely love root lifting sprays, particularly if you've got fine textured hair. The best thing you can do after you've shampoo conditioned and you've got towel dried hair is then spritz the root lifting spray literally through your roots, the lengths of your hair, all the way through. So your hair, you dampened it back down with this product. So how I get this, I literally spray this all throughout my roots, separate my hair and spray this literally everywhere. And then what I do is I grab a round brush. So this is my Damon uh, brush here. And I absolutely think this works amazingly well for creating volume. So blow dry in one hand, brush in the other, and literally just taking your time. And what I tend to do, because I want the back to look just as sleek and neat as the front, what I do is first of all, I brush all the hair forward. And then at the back with a blow dry in one hand, I brush the hair downwards. I don't create too much lift because I don't want loads of volume at the back. Because if I turn off to the side, what I want is I want that real nice definition and that sort of swoop all the way down. And of course, both sides equal amount of height and then it blends down towards the nape of my neck. And then the sides of my hair where it's grown out now really swoops in together. So what you have is this nice straight piece of hair at the back and then my two sides of my hair are literally just brushed so they cross over. So it literally looks like that it's part of the style. So you've got the two sides crossing over and then underneath you've got the hair coming straight down and it just finishes into a bit of a point um, towards the nape of my neck. So the back looks as sleek as what the front does. So then once you've dried the front off, then what I do is I work inwards. So I work inwards towards the front of my hair. So I lift up each 
sort of section of my hair with this and then literally I hold the brush quite taut lifting towards the ceiling and then with a blow dryer of course just concentrating the heat on the hair of course not being really really harsh not being really uh, really quite damaging to the hair just being careful with that as well now what you could do is you could use a heat defense spray with your uh, after your root lifting spray as well. Some of them have heat properties in there which look after your hair. But what heat does for volume is it helps those ingredients in volumizing root lifting sprays sort of wake up and really, really gets that vigoration of volume going. So I tend to sometimes stay away from that, but what I do use, if I'm using a lot of heat in my style, then what I make sure that after, towards the end of the day, that I'm using lots of conditioner, sometimes an oil to look after my hair, so I'm balancing everything else as well. So what we're doing, getting back to this, so as I move closer towards the front of my hair, then I'm making sure I lift the hair up quite taut, I'm not being nasty, so not being nasty, not being nasty to the hair, not being really aggressive, but just holding it quite firm and then getting that blow dryer against the hair so I can really create that direction up towards the ceiling of the hive. Then when I come towards the sides, what I do is I lift upwards on the sides, pull and then I direct it over. So then I'm directing the hair over off to one side, but I'm creating loads of lift and loads of body in the hair. Then on the opposite side, I'm lifting it up and I'm pulling it off to one side as well. So basically what we're doing is we're over directing the hair. Another thing to create more volume, what's really, really good is if you take the brush in one hand and the blow dryer and literally blow dry the hair off to the opposite way you're actually going to be wearing your hair. So what I sometimes find myself doing is doing all this through, lifting it all the way up so I'm creating that volume, and then I'm blow drying the hair off to one side, then I'm blow drying the hair off to the opposite side. Then when the hair is dry, if you think that actually things are a little bit more limp, they're not as sort of structured, not as much texture as you'd like, what you can do with a root lifting spray is you can go back in, you can just spray a little bit. I don't recommend soaking the hair again, but just a few couple of spritzes throughout the hair and then drying that hair up again. So really that you're layering that root lifting spray so you get more texture, more resistance in the hair. So what you're doing is you're creating almost, if you imagine you've got the cuticle of your hair, that root lifting spray is wrapped all around the hair so it's making the hair the hair feel thicker stand up stronger so you've got much more stability and I like to kind of think of it whilst you're doing a big volume style like this with extreme volume it's almost like that scaffolding for that hair to stand up next after you've used your root lifting spray my favorite product to use again you may you may sort of see a bit of a theme here love Schwarzcroft got to be products so I love the, the glue blasting free spray the yellow can love the root lifting volume maniac and I love the texturizing powder so we've used that root lifter then that's all dry but what you'll find is if you were just to spray that in place then that it might flop to one side or it might fall flat halfway throughout the day particularly if you've got really quite fine hair now I have fine hair a lot of it but what's really really great is taking this volumizing powder okay and then literally with what you've done already separating your hair out and then just tapping this in this is very fine like a very fine powder so literally just working through and tapping it throughout your hair so literally parting tapping all the way through okay literally all the way through and then hold your head forward okay and then literally just really get going on those roots really rub into your scalp and then what you'll find is the hair will be more resistant and it will start to almost feel ever so slightly a little bit sticky but it's not a sticky sensation what you'll find is the hair is sort of every all the hairs are standing away from the scalp and it looks like you've got a ton more hair so it's great for creating big styles like this where you want that impact you want that real rush of style that real nice extreme volume which is going to get you noticed and it's of course from that real nice strong 1950s era with the pompadours that type of look they can be difficult to create if you've got fine hair but with these right products you can certainly do it quite easily so when you've got this what you will find then is that your hair will stand up high sky what I do then is I go over the top of it <laughs> I go over the top of it and then when I've got my head flipped forward I spray with hairspray or free spray or blasting free spray and then literally when you come back up your hair will be literally standing skyscraper high it looks a bit silly and if anybody was to catch you looking like it they wonder what you were doing but believe you me it's worth it for the style what I then tend to do afterwards is then I take my time and this is where the important thing comes in with choice of comb now I used to use a normal traditional black comb which you'd find in any store any barbers anywhere like that at all but my my mum was actually using this particular comb once and I looked at it and I thought to myself that would be really really helpful that's my niece you can hear bless her <laughs> if you can hear that that's my niece and that's Sienna bless her 
Um, I've recently just fed her, so my twin brother, that's her dad, is probably looking after her. That's probably now what you can just hear past my door. Anyway, getting back to this, bless her. Anyway, getting back to this. So my mum was using this particular comb, and I thought to myself, that looks so much more easier. And you know what? I have had this comb for years, and it's as amazing as I first started using it. And it's this one here. So it's got like the prongs at the bottom, so like a bit of an afro-type comb. And then here, which is really quite good, if I hold it against my blank t-shirt here, you can see that the teeth are all at different levels. That is amazing for creating volume. So what I then tend to do is, throughout my hair, once I've got that the stiffness, of course, and the structure from the volumizing powder and the hairspray and the root lifting spray and everything's up high, what I then tend to do is very, very slowly is I then comb everything into place. Now, you have to be careful because you will come across quite resistant parts of your hair where it's gone, gone off quite quickly. So it can be quite firm. But what it's it's great because you've already got that structure. You've got that kind of scaffolding for your style. So what I do, the back will always be quite flat anyway because that's how I've dried it and I don't really use any emphasis there. So then I just grab brush that down ever so slowly at the back then I grab the first side and then I brush that round okay and then I do the opposite side brush that round then what I do is I take a hairspray spray that off and at the back so I know that's done next what I do is I then take the hair up kind of move if you're slowly moving forward towards the front of your hair then I kind of after I've done the back I move in a little bit about an inch I lift that hair up ever so slightly and then I don't push it right the way down to my scalp I lift it up ever so slightly because what we're going to do is create like steps here so then I move that across to the back, slightly over to the side again, slightly over to the side again, spray. So what we're doing is we're creating each level and we're getting higher as we come forward. Then again I move in, lift up ever so slightly. This time we're coming over the last step which we've just done at the back. Then I literally spray that across, side, side, move in, lift it up even higher this time, spray comb comb but as that's drying run the comb over the hair so it all blends in together you don't want to be looking as though that you've got your hair all stepped that's not manly it doesn't look great <laughs> i've done that before believe you me and then literally moving again towards the hairline lifting up even higher this time side side blend everything with the comb really nice comb sleek look really groomed really nice sleek looking you want that nice sleek finish next literally Lift it as high as you can in the front. And if you can get another section from here, even better, you're going to go even higher with that. And then, of course, smooth everything all in. But here, instead of just going over the top and over the top, here, where the style comes in, literally make sure that you've got all your sides brushed towards the side here. Literally stand up. And then if your hair's long enough like mine, swoop the top over ever so slightly. Leave it there. Spray it. Grab the, grab the free spray. Spray it. The front comb off but rather than just going straight over I like to sort of incorporate a little bit more style here so comb over so what you've got is you've got that nice sort of kind of swoop what you're doing in the front here and on the side here come back up twist it around ever so slightly and then what you've got is kind of like this dome of hair coming up really nice and sleek and then to finish things off what I do is I spray everything with hairspray or blasting free spray what have you and then literally with my hands I just smooth everything in really nice and sleek and then sort of push everything up ever so slightly and then you've got this huge amount of volume in the front in the back as you can see i've got that real nice definition and remember we said steps we come lower and lower and lower and lower until it's flat at the back of my head here and again from this side as you can see all the way down and what's really helpful with this with creating a really nice haircut is if you've got your sides now of course we're in the middle of a pandemic of course with coronavirus but I actually have been cutting my own hair with the help of my amazing mum who does the back for me. But I can just and just about do it, but then I just ask her just to make sure everything's quite sleek and smooth at the back. So what I've been doing is up to a 0.5 up to about here, okay? And then I change the guard up to about a 1, then I move it down so we're not so close to the blade. So I can um, so I can get a little bit of a fade here so it's not that sort of stepped edge all the way around. And then literally I will do that sort of a line and you can see then I come down ever so slightly on like a sort of an arch. And on this side here, like an arch. And at the back, what I do is I arrow it down towards a point. So a haircut really, really helps. When you're creating volume like this, for me now, my hair is uh, to my top uh, to my top lip, probably a little bit longer. So, of course, I can create that sort of height upwards and swoop it off to the side and, and really get that volume standing up there. And it's one of my favourite styles, I have to admit. And I really, really love that look. Really, really professional, really sleek. 
really on point. <laughs> really, really like it from that era, that sort of 1950s Elvis sort of inspired look. Really love Pompadour's looks. Really, really very nice indeed. Absolutely love it. Yeah. So, of course, haircut really, really counts. If you're struggling with fine textured hair, something which can help. Now, you might find this to be counterintuitive. However, with thinning shears, once all of this is over with the pandemic, if you're having your hair cut, literally ask the person who cuts your hair. Thinning shears isn't always for just cutting bulk out of thick hair or for thinning out thick hair. What it can be if you've even got fine hair is if you imagine if you've got hair all in one length, if somebody then will professionally come in and thinning out the hair or take some of the bulk out of the fine hair, those shorter hairs help the longer hairs stand up. So you don't have to do so much with your hair. Now, it doesn't work hugely for creating a style like this, but for creating more volume and helping you achieve a look like this, then certainly it does help. And of course, product choice as well. Just lastly, on this clip, whilst we're looking at creating this style, this favourite style of mine, one of the most important things, of course, after you've worn a style like this all day, just recapping everything. So we've used that volumizing shampoo and conditioner, that root lifting powder, the root lifting spray, the hairspray, copious amounts of free spray. Of course, it's vitally then important to really give your scalp the ability to breathe. So afterwards, when you're ready to get rid of that style, really make sure that you shampoo all of those products out. And of course, this will ensure that you keep top tip scalp condition for, of course, keeping to grow really great, thick, invigorated hair growth as well. I always find that vitally important. Okay, so hope you like this clip. Hope you like this hairstyle and give it a try. I have to admit, if you think it won't suit you, think again. It's so cool and I absolutely love it. Yeah, you do get a few looks. Most of the time, people are probably jealous that you haven't got as much hair to be able to do it. But you know what? Who cares? My hair, if I like the style, I'm going to do it. Perfect. And you know what? I really, really like it. And I hope you do too. And I hope this gives you the confidence to give it a try yourself. So that was extreme volume, style and impact. And it certainly does that. OK, thanks very much for watching my clip. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye now.